You know, a lot has been said today uh, on one level because of uh, observations regarding existing systems. Uh, uh, but before I go into detail about that, I just wanted to ask you one question. So that uh, I or uh, everybody saw your photographs. Uh, it feels, I know that you have not done that, but uh, I just wanted to confirm that you have not chosen the areas of our schools which appeared as if, you know, redundant objects were kept there or something like that. But if you have done a photo, you can see the photo. नहीं यार दोनों ही बोलते हैं मुझे कि एक अंदर आर्ट स्कूल से जो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर है अन्य आर्ट स्कूल अपने समूह जी 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 स्कूल आपार आए तेज़ रहा थोड़ा थोड़ा सही करना है पर बाकी जगह का ये आर्ट स्कूल बनों जो अस्तर त्याग कशी व्यवस्था आस्ते हाँ पर एक बात होता है ना कई कई ठिकाने ऐसे पढ़ हाई एक तरह का भाग है अरे अपना डॉक्यूमेंटेशन आते तब तक एक भाग है कि आर्ट्स कुल कैसे कैसे आस्था जाते लगे आर्ट्स कुल कुछ भी कर चल रहा है तो एक तरह डॉक्यूमेंटेशन कर रहे तो एक तरह का भाग पर है थोड़ा सा अपन कहाँ हैं उनको कि जारुन कुछ क्यों आ थोड़ा सा जस्ट मतलब फोटोग्राफ्स कर you know, visiting different art schools and collecting data. There is a model in our mind about what art schools should be. You know, uh, what kind of infrastructure it should have or what kind of uh, teachers should be there or how the classroom should be appear and how you know, everything has to operate in a certain way, etc. Uh, because that is what we are checking or comparing and we are feeling that something is not there I means i'm just trying to project a, a a kind of a different perspective of looking at the entire data collection project uh, from a premise that suppose if i because you know i'm uh, listening to nathan and wonderfully he has explained the uh, you know meditative experiential technology uh, i call it technology i think it's fine uh, you know, uh, and when we, uh, when I also list, uh, see what Imarthi sir has done, I feel that uh, there are two ways. Means one immediate question which comes to my mind is that uh, the educational format which we have adopted in uh, our art schools uh, is not evolved from our own practices as such. We have adopted uh, the practice. Uh, British has told us how it should be and we are just following it. Uh, people go to say so many countries and they talk about how art schools are there and how we should have something similar to that etc etc. Uh, so we have this idea of uh, you know that we are still in the process of possibly adoption and not generating ideas on our own that what we need, uh, what our role of art because you know uh, all of us experience that uh, as soon as our students doesn't earn money from his, uh, you know, selling his art, slowly, possibly his, uh, you know, practice stops. So as a person involved in education, uh, you know, I start questioning that is art only meant for earning money because, you know, in Bombay, uh, you can earn money in various ways. So if art practice or art education is not allowing me to sustain my own art practice, uh, not only commercially but even on a you know emotional level, on a thought level, etc. It does not give me mechanism to connect uh, my art practice to, to so many aspects of my life. Uh, what exactly the education is has done to me? Uh, so from that premise, I uh, I am looking at the entire education scenario that if we will develop. Uh, or if this format would have been evolved on our own, then what it would have been possibly? Because then the answers or the perceptions can differ. Uh, in the same way, uh, when uh, we look at Nathan's presentation, uh, we see so many theoreticians and, uh, you know, 
uh, if you look at our own art education practice, we have certain huge uh, burden of ideas like Guru Shishya Parampara, you know, that is one of the biggest uh, heavy weight idea which we carry. Uh, then uh, another idea, you know, which we still carry uh, concepts like the subconscious, which is one of the most beloved concept of uh, Indian art since uh, 1947 or so. Uh, and uh, generally in art field or in art education field, people don't like, uh, you know, uh, they love psychology because Sigmund Freud is there, uh, but uh, they don't like other aspects of psychology, to be frank. And uh, they don't like neurology, uh, they don't even possibly know about neurology. So how it is possible to look at art practice in a totally new way uh, or the new theory which are emerging out of design and industrial, uh, you know, education or uh, that kind of a field? How to do that? Because I'm looking at a framework. I think what uh, both of them talked about today is a framework which we are referring to. Framework of art education. Uh, on one level we are saying existing framework doesn't work and it should be something else rather than what it is. On the other side, Nithi is talking in great detail about uh, what should be the mechanism or what should be the technology of a teacher uh, in a classroom which will generate certain processes in the mind. And I want to come back to Krishnamurti uh, in reference to, he is calling him as a canvas uh, and he referred less to Krishnamurti and more to the other theoreticians. So I want him to talk more about this aspect of why exactly he is calling Krishnamurti as canvas. So I feel a framework, uh, because you know, on another very big burden which uh, we carry is that people say that art cannot be taught. And still they could come to art school. They die to come to you know, art school. Uh, so, so I feel, do we go back to the idea that if the framework, adoptive framework doesn't work and it should be evolved on our own, that is the first premise I would like to question or explore and if the answer is yes or no then I think possibly the rest of the answers will follow accordingly you know that what should be the medium of uh, you know instruction and if we have to have a meditative technology or we have to have uh, instruction based technology or what should be the meaning of discipline because he is talking about hundred sketches which is a very key word in art schools, you know, that we ask people to produce hundred sketches and they even, if they have not done, they just borrow from somebody and show it to teach them. Uh, so, whatever it is. So, we are again coming back to the idea of discipline and what exactly is the meaning of discipline. Because I, uh, you know, look at visual art education, not only from the uh, point of view of visual art uh, practitioner, but I feel that uh, if a Karnatak, uh, you know, music uh, education is there or Hindustani uh, classical music uh, education is there or dance education is there. Uh, even they follow uh, certain disciplines, they have also certain, uh, you know, problems or challenges to conquer. But because comparatively their forms or their framework has been evolved in this land itself and I'm not being nationalist or anything like that, I'm just saying that it has got lesser of foreign influence comparatively, their nature of education is automatically or naturally introverted the way you want it to be. Correct. And therefore the meaning of discipline and uh, you know how the flexible framework should be, if it can take the foreign influence or not, etc, etc, or how the methodology of teaching can be evolved is there and it changes because even if it is not individual centric, because you know if you look at the uh, history of art education in Maharashtra, we do not have theories unfortunately. We have great individual teachers who were supposedly great artists also and they kept on teaching people. And nobody said like as Imar sir was saying that aesthetics books are not read, but I always wanted to question aestheticians because they have read English books and wrote, you know, aesthetics in Marathi. They have not written their own aesthetic philosophy as such, uh, referring to or responding to their contemporary challenges or experiences or things like that. So even there, 
in theory, uh, adoptive framework uh, follows the same way, the way we are doing it in practice. So I uh, I just wanted to uh, open, uh, you know, the two areas I felt are critical, that is the framework, what to do with this adoptive framework, rather than if framework should be adoptive or it should be, you know, evolutionary in nature. And then the second is, uh, if, because you know, on one level you are theories about practice of teaching are deriving from so many uh, industry-based ideas which also deal with, uh, you know, people who are supposedly going to become executives rather than uh, so-called artists, etc. So how we can bring those theories into a practice which we want to be introverted in nature and to be a meditative technology. Yeah, I think uh, so. I am opening uh, for me. I felt these two premises are interesting and important. Uh, you can either you can start answering or we can open up the no, question. No, we have elaborated on the topic. I think we should collab start collaborating collaborative papers on this particular issue because this is vast. You know, this, we have just opened up you know this discussion and to come to one of your point that art cannot be taught. I think we should start continuing, we should continue to say that, that art cannot be taught. But we should start saying that visual thinking can be taught. Definitely visual thinking can be taught. I cannot teach you how to become a good artist, but if I teach you effectively uh, how visual thinking can be initiated, I think there are so many avenues other than becoming a fine artist and showing my work in the exhibition. Because now, today's contemporary culture is evolving at a stage where they need creative people, they, they, they need creative thinkers, which can give input in anything. Today, a creative thinker can give his input in business design, how business can be uh, created. So obviously, this will be too... Uh, Adventurous to say that you know, uh, one uh, corporate can come in placement in uh, art college. But then, what I mean to say is that if we start uh, even tying up with the local craft which is available, the local trade which is available in that particular region, and if we start collaborating with these people, I think we have to give uh, lucrative options for the students. And they should have a clear picture in front of them that what exactly they want to be doing after completing whatever this course, diploma or this course. So we have to have a certain kind of agenda which is always, because currently it is influential. Whatever influence as Indian art has, maybe it is mainly due to the European uh, influence. But whatever it is today, let us not go into this discourse that we have to initiate Indian way of thinking and all that. Whatever we have, how we can consolidate that particular uh, ways of systems, whatever we have, and start consolidating it uh, based on the regional as well as global, because we have to think global, at the same time we have to think uh, local. So, and starting from the crafts, starting from the small trades which are available in that particular region, will be the best option to initiate this first part. And the te meditative technology will follow it. Because if you want to make anything effective, you have to be effective. That whatever delivery you are having in the class has to be effective. That And that compulsion is there in design education. That by the end of this particular course, I have to make this person a good thinker. So when you have that kind of compulsion, automatically the things will start working on its own. That's what I think. Uh, no, but uh, you know, uh, if I understand, uh, because this question, uh, I confront uh, every every June or July when parents come and ask that what will my child do at the end of the education. But you know, uh, the way you are presenting uh, your technology uh, or methodology, don't you think that uh, it, you know, because art is thought about with so much of emotions and mysticism and, you know, a sense of romance and you are cutting all that and you are saying that art is not all these things. So all these ideas which are being followed in Indian education since say, 1947 onward, 
since I will, I will not go before that. You are saying that we should end up or you know stop doing all that, and you are saying that now art is thinking. Is it uh, means because I feel uh, this idea uh, is uh, it's scary, yeah. dangerous. Many people may not like it because people want to think about art as a very you know, bhao we go go na and all that kind of thing, and all that you are cutting it down. <laughs> uh, so how it is going to work? Because uh, because no, uh, I also wanted to uh, connect this to the scenario where mm. today's uh, you know art school students uh, in their final year they get connected to galleries or they start showing their work, etc., etc., and market force has uh, started. You know, penetrating this educational framework for the last say, 10 years or so very aggressively, and uh, it is not necessarily, you know, controlled by any theory, mm. market force. So, how uh, the sustainability of any ideas uh, like this uh, will become a reality? That is my concern on one level. Obviously, if I have given one presentation, the things are not going to change. So what I am presenting is that we have to start thinking towards change in any ways. Because today I am giving a presentation, so tomorrow somebody else can have some different ideas. What I mean to say is that you have to have certain stand when you are establishing a art education institute. You have to have a stand that what is going to be your institute making how you are going to empower your students by the end of the four years now. Whether that empowerment comes through giving them lucrative jobs or uh, giving them good galleries, that is up to you. How you want to uh, initiate your own business. But as far as whatever I presented today has nothing to do with all this. It's about what will happen in the classroom. Today, in my uh, premise, where students are going to go into design industry and work, I am doing it over there. When there is a compulsion for the student not to think in this way when he or she is going to go to the industry. So I am implementing that in a very, uh, it's very absurd that such kind of methodology I am using in the design college where they are not going to become an artist. But some of them by the end of that course they, cho they choose to be an artist. Some of them, I know some of my students, they have become artists because this way of education has opened their mind to an extent that they are willing to choose their own career the way they want to. It's not necessary that they will go and do any corporate job. So why can't this uh, opportunity be opened up to art students? So it's still debatable whether we should go ahead like that or no. But whatever system we have, can we start we think about them. And one of the important points is that don't teach them how to make art. Teach them how to be clear in their thought process. Art is going to eventually come. Because they are, if they are creative, they are bound to create art. But why do we initiate your entire uh, methodology in order to create art and that creates a lot of confusion. Because all external ideas are brought inside the classroom. Rather than nurturing certain interesting ideas in the classroom and present, it, present those ideas to the outside world. Outside world is waiting to take these new ideas. Why can't you take that stand that we will be creating this idea for this western region and our school will cater to western region. And we don't have anything to do with your whatever practices which are following in uh, towns, bigger uh, cities. Why can't anybody take that stand? So it should be very versatile. I'm not proposing any one particular model. But a key model can be proposed and that model can be adopted by various different art schools depending upon their own needs. I wanted to come back to the point of uh, you refer to craft in your answer. Yes. Uh, but uh, I think uh, I missed out or Imarke sir did not elaborate. Tumi te Rajasthan sa zo anuvo hai tum sa. Kite mandat ki te hum sa miniature painting sa kaya राजस्थान मध्य मिनेचर शैली है प्रत्येक कुछ अभ्यास क्रम हि मिनेचर शैली नहीं तो मैं तिथि शिक्षण विचार तुम्हें कॉन्टेम्पररी आंटेम्पररी आर्ट करता है ठीक है मिनेचर शैली चाहिए मुख्य मे गोष अभी है कि मिनेचर शैली हि कुछ जर समा तिक लोकल शैली कुछ राजपूत है 
मेवाच आहे बुंदी आहे कोट आहे तर ती विद्यार्थ्यांना शिकवणं आणि त्यातून काही निष्पन्न होतं का वेगळ्या कॉन्ट्रॅक्टर्स मध्ये हा हे पाहायला जायला पाहिजे ते विसरून चालत नाही हा एक महत्वाचा भाग आहे कारण काय होतं की राजस्थान मध्ये मी जेव्हा गेलो तेव्हा एका एका ठिकाणी नाथद्वारला ते पारंपरिक कामं करत होते ते काहीतरी गेला एका कोणाचा तरी लाकडाच्या मूर्ती वगैरे करण्याचा बिझनेस होता तो मला नाथद्वारला त्या टेम्पलपाशी घेऊन गेलो तर मी म्हटलं तुम तुम्हारे यहा तो तुम्हाला धंदा शिकताय तुम्ही एकदा शिकणे केले किंवा ते हो बोले हा मी मॉडर्न शिकणार आहे सर सो त्यांच्या मॉडर्नच्या ज्या कल्पना आहेत या आणि अशा सगळीकडे की त्यांना असं वाटतं की आमची मिनिएच शैली आहे तर ती शैली का असू नये किंवा त्याच्याबद्दल तुम्ही का काम नाही करत असा आहे सो हाऊ टू हाऊ टू अडॉप्ट म्हणजे मला सांगावं असं वाटतं की असं गरज नाही आहे की तुम्ही त्यांच्याबरोबर जे काम कराल ते परत ट्रॅडिशनकडे येऊन जाणारं काम असेल परत जुनं करा असं अजिबात त्याच्यात या नवीन मॉडेलमध्ये असं नाही आहे तुम्ही त्यांची जी काही स्किल लेवल आहे त्यांचं जे काही कॅरेक्टर आहे सध्याचं आणि जुनं कॅरेक्टर याला ताडून बघितलं आणि त्याच्यातले ओरिजिनल भाग किती राहिले आहेत त्याच्या बेसिसवरती तुम्ही कंटेम्पररायझेशन त्याचं करू शकता हो पण ते केलं पाहिजे केलं पाहिजे म्हणजे असा विचार जर गोष्ट केला की स्कल्पेच का स्कूल म्हणजे म्हणजे राजस्थान स्कूल ऑफ आर्ट मध्ये तिकडे राजस्थान मध्ये सगळं मार्बलच्या मूर्त्या वगैरे करतात आणि त्या ट्रॅडिशन मधून तिथे लोक शिल्प कला शिकायला येतात अर्थात या स्कूल मध्ये त्यांना कॉन्सेप्च्युअल वगैरे सगळ्या गोष्टी घेऊन सगळे विविध प्रकारचे शिल्प शिकवतात पण तिकडची तक्रार काय असते त्या म्हणजे जो शिक्षक आहे स्कल्पची म्हणजे हे सगळं इथे करतात आणि पुन्हा आपल्या घरी गेल्यावर त्यांचा जो व्यवसाय असतो तेच करतात त्यामुळे इथून आर्टिस्ट होत नाही म्हणजे काहीतरी क्रिएटिव्ह करायचा जो भाग असतो आता क्रिएटिव्ह वगैरे सोडून देत नाही पण जे काही करायची त्यांची इच्छा असते ते काही होऊ शकत नाही कारण त्यांना पैसा त्याच्यात मिळतो काय करणार पण इन दिस केस वॉट एक्झॅक्टली यू मीन बाय interpreting it in contemporary sense. So that's what is happening very... Really, because um, if you take the example of Vali art, hmm. uh, it is oversubscribed commodity now. Means, <laughs> yes, you know, and... Uh, you have taken a very bad example. <laughs> But there are some good examples also that certain crafts uh, have been uh, taken on a very different level altogether. I'm not saying always inter- convert it in for international level only, international market only. But basically, this is one of the important avenues for even art schools to think about creating art objects i'm not saying craft objects which has utilitarian value but it this is one of the untapped area i think where you can uh, capture a big market where people are looking for traditional art pieces which are authentic in its nature and they are willing to give you that kind of price and today it is happening also certain people from cities designers will go there they will get it manufactured and they will sell it in the cities it is happening today uh, even uh, the example of uh, new terminal this example is another little cliched example but then another example can be given that most of these uh, installation artists have used certain traditional uh, craft the way it has there could can be a debate on the way they have treated that particular art whether it should be done in that way or no this could be a question of another debate but there are so many avenues like that where artists today can have, I'm not saying, and it was never a case where all the 30 students went and showed their work in the gallery even 30 years back or 50 years back. How many of them really pursued becoming a fine artist as their career in their you know, future career paths? So, because they had no option within the art school, they found that option when they out, went outside the art school. Why can't today's art school empower them to think the, the way they want to think and the uh, uh, the profession can emerge uh, simultaneously. 